So, is there any other play than oil stocks right now to swing trade? Yes, let me diversify my portfolio with some renewable energy stocks here. And let's take a look at Jivo, all right? Obviously, diversifying was ironic. Uh, I am not diversified at all. If the energy sector crashes, I'm crashing, but, but I react quickly. So, all my trades to the downside, I cut my losses around 5 to 7% every time. And that's my golden rule. Good old Jivo. Does anyone remember this from 2020? We had a lot of hype in the renewable energy sector. And today was a very good day for the small sector. Polar Power, Polar Power, Sunworks, Jivo, all were up double digits. And yeah, so let's take a look and see what's going on. So millions of shares issued and one year later, we are at $4.50. All time highs are around $15. We are shorted so heavily, 22.3% that I can't understand the heavy pressure to the downside. But at the same time, management did a very bad job to ge generate more revenue, to get more contracts and just to get something going because their sales are not significant at all. And the newly issued shares were really a problem for me. I wasn't ever thinking about investing. But today, um, just a technical analysis could be a breakout. But let's be very careful here. If you want to take a look what the company is generally doing, I already um, made a video about them like, like half a year ago or so. So go take a look if you want. They commercialize gasoline, jet fuel and diesel fuel to achieve zero carbon emission. At least that's what they're trying to do. If you take a look at their sales, uh, income negative, sales not even 1 million on a billion dollar market cap. So that's a problem in my opinion. So fundamentally, I wouldn't really look at this play too much. You know, operating at pre-revenue levels is really not something people are looking for right now. But we could still have a good Thursday, Friday and going into next week, maybe if the technical analysis is playing along. If we have some irrational buying here, I think the short sellers could get burnt on a few days. Um, the target price is still $12 by Wall Street. I can't really understand it, but like the revenue growth, the EPS growth should be good. I guess um, have not looked too much into it. But also, um, if you take a look at one of their competitors, this one also broke out a little bit. It is a much bigger market cap and it has some income. So if you want to go off of fundamentals, I would highly recommend Renewable Energy Group. The ticker symbol is REGI. Um, but as far as a squeeze play goes, I think Jivo has an upper hand because this one has a 7% short float. And on Jivo, I imagine there are just so many hedge funds and people just betting against the stock for one and a half years now. And maybe they overdid it. And 22% or what would... So 22.3% short float on Jivo is really um, remarkable. So... You never want to miss out on a squeeze play, right? So in my opinion, if we can break five bucks or six bucks, we are on our way to 10 or something. That can happen really quick if they have like two or three days to cover um, over the weekend into going into next week. This could really skyrocket for a short time. I don't know. Just some irrational buying from retail and some big whales and we are there already, I think. Um, if you take a look at the volume, we are up 3.3 on volume and I think that all happened within one day. So if you take a look at stock widths, the message volume about how many people are talking about it is really up. 115,000 people are watching it right now on their watch list. And yeah, price change was 28% and post market we are up also. So Jiwo does have some hype behind them today, like 100,000 people on Stockwitz. Okay, so either on the sideline watching or going in right now or in pre-market. I'm very excited for tomorrow for this stock, so maybe I will intraday trade it. 
looks really really bullish on the four hour candles here on the daily candles as well you have your 20 day sma line here and just the biggest of green candles i imagine if we don't have a small pullback the run could even be more sustainable and stronger than we maybe anticipate but yeah tomorrow and friday very important days for this stock if we have a trend reversal i will maybe do another update and this is my swing trade idea beside oil stocks right now also in renewable energy but whatever um i hope you liked the video and i'll see you in the next one okay